Lately, I've been getting into graffiti, and in Austin, there's a lot of it. But in the last couple of years of living in Austin, Texas, I've sort of seen one artist's name rise above the rest. Buscar in Spanish means to search. And folks have seen it tagged all over the city. People are talking about Buscar, who is this? And right now it's an urban mystery. Who is behind Buscar? From east to west, it was impossible to miss a Buscar and Bella street sign or a dilapidated building. They were truly everywhere. But I, like many others in town, were wondering who could be responsible for all this Buscar graffiti? And who is Buscar? I didn't know how I was gonna do it, but I knew that I had to find Buscar. That's right, Buscar. The very definition by which means to search, to find, probably means they don't wanna be found. The irony is not lost on me. Believe me, I went to college for a year, so I know. I started my search for Buscar like any good journalist would on Reddit. <laughs> Maybe at this point in the video I should explain why finding Buscar in the first place was important to me. My girlfriend and I would be on a walk, and there we would see it. A new Buscar throw Buscar. up. It became a game for us. It was a big part of our bonding early in our relationship. Dude, the guy was everywhere. He was everywhere, and yet no luck. All my messages were going unanswered. The trail had seemed to be going cold. Everything I could find online about Buscar was at least six months old, maybe a year. It was starting to become clear that there's a very significant chance I would not be able to find Buscar or contact them. This video really sort of lives or dies on that premise. I didn't just want to say, I tried to find and couldn't. That felt so lame to me. Things just didn't really feel like they were moving. I was getting no's left and right. I knew I couldn't just send Instagram DMs all day. I needed to take things up a notch. Something started to change. I started getting comments. There were people that shared my interests. My reels started getting shared. People were commenting theories. And then, a message. This is, uh, so I made my ad. Someone responded, I sent this to him. Unfortunately, it's sort of just another spider web. The trail's not cold. But the messages didn't stop coming. Eventually, I got the message. Uh, how do I say this? I think I may have found him. Someone anonymously sent me an Instagram account that's followed by a couple of the other like graffiti players and graffiti spotters in town. There is a uh, Buscar Graffiti, which I've seen a bunch of accounts before, but I've not seen this one kind of show up in my research. They hit follow because they're a private account and seconds passed and they immediately accepted. Fuck, man. Here we go. Dude, what's up? Hey, how's it going? What inspired Buscar? And at the time, uh, I was something. I was searching for something to give me purpose. You know, yeah. and that's why I decided to start painting. And once I started getting a, a little bit of attention because of it, then this attention and seeing the name all around town kind of gave me something that I could do and some sort of outlet. It means a lot now because I, uh, at the time I was going through some substance abuse issues while I was painting. It was the only times that, that my that my mind went quiet, you know? As for substance abuse, are you, are you feeling in a better place now with it or? Yeah, I mean, that's that's one of the reasons that I've, I've stopped painting. I've moved out of Austin. Things are much better now. You know, I've been sober about six months. That's good to hear. Is there anything else that you're hoping to focus on as you kind of go forward? Uh, mental health stuff. Yeah, that's the field that I'm 
currently in with kids and just seeing if I can make some sort of difference in somebody's life. Sobriety, helping others who are we're going through those issues and, and the tattooing I'm hoping to progress in that. Is there a thing that you would want to leave to someone who's just inspired by your art? To be present and show up for those that that you love, you know? Yeah. But I appreciate you, Doug. Yeah, you as well. See you, dude. All right, good luck with the video. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Maybe Blue Scar is a good symbol to all of us to search inside ourselves, to find a way to keep moving forward. Maybe Blue Scar really is the friends we made along the way.